questions asked. It was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You look at Halo 3 is kind of... It kind of got weird when you... When they put in those, uh... What the hell are those called? The equipment or whatever. Deployable equipment stuff. That, that was just like, uh, I really didn't like that. And... And then Halo Reach. Halo Reach, I think the armor abilities aren't that bad. Like, they're, they're overpowered. Like, armor lock lasts, like, twice as long as it should. It's pretty ridiculous how they just armor lock for, like, ten seconds, and by that time, someone on their team from halfway across the map has run up and killed you. Um... Or doesn't kill you, but but um <clears throat> but then the armor lock guy comes out of armor lock, and then it's one v two, and then you're screwed. Um, so stuff like that. The jetpack goes like really high, and uh, since it recharges while you're falling, you uh. You can basically always hit it a little before you hit the ground and never actually take fall damage. So there's there's little things like that that I personally consider all the armor abilities to be overpowered. Um But the thing I really don't like about Halo Reach is that the um, the objective games just kind of all around suck. Like, really suck. There's... Like, I could go through individual things on individual maps. Like, um, they put it to, uh, 10 second respawns for, uh, capture the flag games. So that, like, once you kill the other team, they haven't respawned just as you're grabbing the flag and then you don't actually get anywhere with the flag. But now it's basically impossible to defend on uh, on one flag on one flag variance. Um because they kill your team and then they're uh and then they're like halfway across the map by the time you actually respawn. Um, and they have like three or four minutes to, uh, to do that. So it's just like way too hard to, uh, to, to defend, um, a specific game I have in mind was on, uh, powerhouse. It was it was ridiculous. Absolutely no chance of defending. They have basically have like three minutes to uh wipe your team once and uh <coughs> and then you lose. Uh yeah really annoying um so 
yeah, that was just an example with one flag is just overall generally terrible with the uh, spawns now. Then, of course, there's uh, there's other really stupid stuff like for territory style games they made it so you can't use armor abilities in the territory which is great in that um in that you can't armor lock um you can't armor lock within a territory to capture it and stuff like that anymore. Um, which I think was really stupid in the first place, though it shouldn't count the armor locking player. They also had problems with that for returning flags and returning bombs and stuff like that. Um, but, so that was great that they did that, except that now it's imbalanced with, uh, well, then it became imbalanced with, uh, drop shield, because you could drop the shield right outside, right outside the edge of the territory, and then the drop shield would still be covering you while you're standing inside the territory. So... Yeah, I haven't played objective games in a while, but I think they took Drop Shield out of most of those, so that specific one probably is no longer a problem. But, yeah, basically Halo 2 was the best. Um... Halo multiplayer. Um, and uh, the Halo Reach objective game just makes it fall flat on its face compared to Halo 2. But yeah. So, but yeah. The whole reason I was talking about Halo 2 in the first place was that uh, Halo 1 and Halo 2 until now, now just Halo 2 uh, are no longer um, <laughs> I heard something it was freaking me out survived that terrible explanation. I, uh, yeah, I don't have Halo 2, but hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on it eventually and have all the Halo FPSs up on YouTube, me beating, beating them all on Legendary Solo. Uh, that's good shit. Um, yeah. I guess that's all. Uh, some of this stuff may get shifted around, but Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I'm not going to, I'm not rushing through Assassin's Creed 2 to play that, so that's probably a couple weeks away still. Yeah. I suppose I'll go to YouTube, which 
is my home page. We'll just go to ching. Oh. Before we do that, I'm going to take Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and dip off of this list down here of games I won't be getting. There we go. That should be right now. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, and one more upcoming video I'm gonna have is, uh, <laughs> uh Halo Reach game I played uh, like a week ago or something. I wasn't recording, of course, otherwise you'd already have seen it. Um, but I saved the replay for it, so I'll be able to record it whenever I get around to it. Um, I actually ended up playing a game, uh, Team Slayer Pro game. And there was a bungee guy on the other team. And we managed to win because I am really awesome. Well, and I'll let you guys who actually watched this to the end on a little secret. The uh, There was a part in the game where someone on their team threw a grenade at me while two of his allies were running up at me. So I ended up getting a double kill that I really, really shouldn't have. And that may have swung the game in our favor. Um, obviously, you can't know for sure whether or not my teammates would have been able to uh, like avenge me and stuff and just all the... All the trickling butterfly effect shit that... If he hadn't have thrown that grenade, maybe we would have won by like 10 points for some weird reasons, like just how spawning happens to work out or whatever. Um, but just from the score at the end of the game... That was uh, <laughs> very helpful for us. Um, but hey, we won. So I'm going to put it on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that's it.